So where am I supposed to start with this? Oh, we were supposed to Growing up skateboarding in Brazil was something that I got into from not being into the team sports. I mean, I, uh, I started skateboarding when I was 11 years old. Uh, if I wasn't skating, I'd probably be in the hood gang. Yeah, so basically I just picked up a skateboard and I don't think people understand skateboarding that aren't in the skateboarding world. You're just doing it for the love and, and that is basically skateboarding, you know? It's like a summer vacation for the last 15 years. <laughs> That's our life. <laughs> You know, sometimes it's good to take a break uh, and come back to Milwaukee, and do some of the things I grew up doing, like going out on the boat with my family or skateboarding with a lot of my friends. Um, on top of that, Milwaukee's a great place to skate. You know, you can hit up 15 spots in one day and they're all pretty close to each other and there's no really traffic or someone to kick you out. Plus, half the spots aren't really blown out. You can go there and have a session with your friends and not really have to worry about someone coming up and trying to bust your session. You know, Milwaukee, it's it's the best. It's Milwaukee's best.
Dude, I don't even know how to start this off. Look, we had some crazy budget, like a million dollars. Wanted to do an amazing intro. Came time and it came out, had like five days. Pretty much rained for five days straight. Just rained and rained and rained. And uh, did I mention it rained? <laughs> Sorry, Oakley. This is what you're stuck with. Welcome to Lowell, Massachusetts. I'm going to have a cigarette.
Um, yeah, so basically, we're in 2006 now. I started skating in 86, so it's been been skateboarding now for 20 years. And um, well, I mean, obviously, skateboarding is totally different for me now than it was growing up, because you know you got to live up to certain things and make certain sponsors happy. But when you're a kid, it's yeah, it's just all fun, and you, it's basically just a big game. Like everything is, is you're just doing it for the love, and 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 that's basically the essence of skateboarding right there. You know, that's why we all start, and that's why we all want to want to do it, and and that is basically skateboarding. You know. To be honest, I hate leaving Hawaii. Everything's so mellow and laid back and easy, and no one's in a rush, and everyone knows each other, and that's what I love about it. And then when I leave, I go out into the world, and all of a sudden you're surrounded by buses and trains, and everyone's in a hurry, and everyone's honking their horn like crazy, and it's just a crazy difference. It's like a culture shock almost, and it makes me want to go back home. But I know it's not going to last, because in another week or two, I'm going to have to hop on another plane and get on another boat and then take a taxi and then get on another bus and another plane and another car and then fly back home and then do it all over again and again and again and again and again until they tell me I'm too old and I can't do it anymore. But then I'll probably find a way to do it anyway somehow.
You know what? I'm tired of shit. Drive, sitting in traffic, you know? When you get in spa, you can't skate, we gotta kick out. Oh, this spa is so shady. I'm tired of shit. I'm going back to Brazil and get scared today. Feel me? Comecei a andar de skate quando eu tinha 13 anos em Aracaju, uma das menores cidades do Brasil, porque eu via meus amigos andar e queria andar também, queria saber qual era a sensação de estar em cima do carrinho. E quando a primeira vez que eu subi, foi amor à primeira vista, tipo, tipo não consegui mais parar até hoje. Well, growing up in Eaglewood, it's, it's all right, you know. I stay right by Crenshaw in Florence, so it's like it's always popping over there on Fridays. I'm not gonna go skate. We just gonna cruise. Yeah. They got gangsters and stuff. When you go skate, you gotta watch out for them because they might jack you for your board, try to pocket check you or something. See, if I wasn't skating, damn, I'd probably be in the hood gang banging right now. You know, doing like some real bad shit, but um, I got skateboarding in my life, so I'm, I'm hyped that skateboarding's in my life. I really think I lost my head. 
She ain't no innocent, never did it yet. She's committing sins and ain't finishing. What a guts of her disposition. She ain't subject to criticism. That's why the other women started mimicking. She ain't dripping up, no woman yet. I hate to rest a whole limit. She ain't limited by inhibitions. Boundless imagination. She wants this idea of me, Jack. That had me out in space somewhere just from not knowing the way. You know I can't always tell them everything that you say about half the time But when I hear your voice and support your voice But all of that body language, girl, it's alright It's alright Lanny didn't say it <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> okay, how about y'all done now? I don't think people understand skateboarding that aren't in the skateboarding world at all. Get down now before I call the police. Now! Now! I said now. Now leave property now or I'll unplug those lights. Cops will be called the next time. Okay. So we just move. one try. No! Dude, you're you're the Grinch. Why are you being such a dick, dude? Bro. You know, we're just totally trying to come here. Like when we're not trying to make. You're such a loser, dude. In your embarrassing little orange car. It's, it's retarded. Like people don't realize what skateboarding is and what it's doing. Like skateboarding is more popular than some of the ball grass sports. Like it's amazing. It's a way to step out and you know be different from the regular football, baseball. You know, people don't think skateboarding is my job, but. It's it's what I do, and you know people just don't realize that yet. Someday they will. Growing up skateboarding in Brazil was something that I got into from not being into the team sport. 
soccer was the big thing to do in Brazil and I kind of grew up with asthma and I just kind of steered away from running around too much and, until I found skateboarding. So eventually skateboarding started becoming a little bit more promising in the sense of like, hey, maybe I could actually become a professional. And all of a sudden, I, I ended up in the U.S., which was around 95. I realized that I could actually make a living out of skateboarding. Once I realized that, it was like there was nothing else that was going to stop me. I just kept going and just kept growing, and I just kept getting into all these other things. Around 2000, I kind of started hanging around the airport a lot, and I realized that skydiving could be fun, you know? And, got into skydiving and it's something that I ended up doing because skateboarding allowed me to have a lifestyle to go out and take lessons flying and go out and do jumps and try to tie it all in and progress in this whole another world so that I can keep skateboarding fresh and that was the whole thing to me is to be able to go out fly do some jumps you know and get into all these different things that's kept me going and that pretty much was the achievement for me as a professional skateboarder was to keep the whole professional side of things going and keep growing on my skateboard and and that's just been beautiful